Hey, what's up guys, Ramsey here. I'm at the Google Fiber space. Yes, that's right. The one, the only place where you can test Google Fiber before it's out here in Kansas City or anywhere in the world, frankly. Google Fiber is 100 times faster. What does that really mean? And what we're gonna do today is rather interesting. I wanna test all of the different websites that we use on a day-to-day -day basis, and let's see how fast it takes to load. 100 times faster is really hard to wrap your head around. We need to see it. So I'm gonna test sites like Facebook, YouTube. I want to see how long does it take for all of these sites to load uh, on Google Fiber. All right, so the first site that I'm going to test is the site that you and I likely check every single day, if not multiple times a day, Facebook. So I'm typing Facebook in here. I've got it in the URL bar. And the moment I hit enter, and now, wow. <laughs> That's insanely fast. Let's see how fast it takes to log in. And I'm clicking now. So fairly quick. I mean, that to me was pretty darn fast and that may have something to do with Facebook and not the connection itself. What I want to test now is pictures. I mean, we all know that when we go to Facebook, we look at pictures and we look at a lot of pictures. So recently I took a vacation to San Francisco. What I want to do is open up that. And again, we're running on Google Fiber right now. And so uh, you can see just the general load speed. So if I open up a picture, wow, there's no delay whatsoever. I mean, look at this. I'm literally hitting arrow over and there's no delay in loading any of these pictures. I mean, that's insane. Look at this. That's pretty cool. Now what I want to try is YouTube. You and I and your friends probably exchange at least one or two YouTube videos a day. Why don't we pull up one of my video blogger friends and you may have heard of her, I Justine. Let's see if we can pull up one of her videos and see how long that takes. All right, here we go. Let's watch the progress loading bar load up. All right, look at the progress bar. Wow. It's loading pretty quick. Oh, a little hesitation, a little hesitation. I believe I'm watching this in 360p, so it's struggling a little bit. So once I started fast forwarding, look how fast and responsive the connection is. That's pretty insane. I'm gonna try jumping up to 1080p. Let's see what the difference is in terms of the load time. So let me start the video over and let's see. Now that's insane. No connection I've ever seen loads 1080p video that quickly. Wow. I've always wanted to watch 1080p video on YouTube and a lot of times I'll just suffer through the bad quality just because I want it to load fast and not get that annoying little buffer. You know what I'm talking about, the little buffer thing that goes. Next on my list, let's load up Pinterest. We know that you're probably getting your best recipes on Pinterest right now. So I put in the URL here, and actually Pinterest for me, I don't know if it is for you guys, fairly slow. So in general, this would be, well, that was quick. It looks like as I scroll here, I, I mean, literally I'm not waiting for anything to buffer which is pretty awesome. The next thing I want to test is Netflix. A lot of us watch streaming video, or at least I do, uh, at home. And if that's the future, let's see just in general for something like Netflix, I've got that pulled up. Um, how fast does it take to load a movie? So let's test 30 Rock and see how fast it is. So I just hit go and wow, look at that. And so my next natural question is what happens if you seek, look at that, about a one, to two second delay to skip through video. And, and that may be Netflix's issue in terms of the speed there. But look at this, I can just jump back and forth between different sections of the episode and it's that quick. What happens when you pull up Street View on Google Maps? So I'm gonna open up a new window here. Let's just grab our little Street, dude, street View guy. Okay, so got a little uh, Street View dude. I'm gonna drop him in the middle of New York. Let's see what happens here. So just dropped them. Wow, look at that. That was right away, actually. Um, okay, so hold on. Let's see if we can drop him in, I don't know, Kansas City, Missouri. Look at that. Look how fast that is and responsive it is. Okay, so if I'm navigating through Kansas City, whoa, let's see how long it takes to load these different streets. Wow. See, this is how Street View was meant to be experienced. The fact that I can click and then instantly navigate through, that is really slick. So as you can see, pretty darn impressive. So Kansas City, you've got 12 days, five hours and 14 minutes to register. 
And if you want your neighborhood to get Google Fiber or be eligible for Google Fiber, you need to log on to google.com forward slash fiber and get your neighborhood signed up uh, because you've got to rally your fiber hoods in order to have it installed. I will say I remained convinced, impressed, and really baffled at how fast uh, Google Fiber is. And I can't wait uh, for us to get it here in Kansas City.